Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another fall cook with me. So first I want to get my little potpourri going. Basically it's just some oranges, um, a few apple slices. I'm gonna put some cinnamon in there. So you see there's some peels in there already. I'm gonna drop some of my orange slices with some of the cut apple slices. It makes the house smell just like fall. And I like doing this whenever I'm doing my fall cooking because it makes the house smell yummy. So we're going to just boil this and um, the house is gonna smell amazing. So for this pumpkin cake, we are going to cream together um, 3 fourth cup of softened butter. And I'm going to add to that one and one third cup of sugar. And then the one cup of brown sugar. And I'm going to beat this or mix it until it's creamy. And now I'm gonna beat in one egg at a time. So there's one, we're gonna beat that. And now I'm gonna add the second egg, do the same thing again. just gonna beat that as well there's the eggs the butter and the sugar and I'm gonna set this aside and we're going to get started on the dry ingredients now onto the dry ingredients we're going to have or put three cups of flour in our bowl that's two three three cups of flour we're also gonna add one fourth teaspoon of salt and our one and a half teaspoon of baking soda. There's the half and there's the one. And I like to just um, mix this together a little bit with a whisk. I'm just gonna use this one, just mix it around so it's incorporated really good. So now I'm going to fold in two teaspoons of my vanilla, there's one teaspoon, there's two, and I'm just going to fold that in with a spatula just to make sure that it is mixed in. And I'm also going to fold in a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. And so if you don't have that in the house, but you have cloves and ginger, um, what did I put in this? Nutmeg, cloves, ginger, and cinnamon. Um, you can make your own. I never buy pumpkin pie spice because I always have cloves, ginger, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And so I just make a container of it. And this was a tablespoon of that. If you want the recipe for that, just comment below and I will be more than happy to give that to you. So that looks like it's pretty mixed in. So now that that is all mixed in, I'm going to start adding in my dry ingredients, which was my salt, my baking soda, and my flour. And um, if you've watched me for any amount of time, you know that I do not uh, consume cow's milk. It does not agree with my body. Um, it's been about 10 years. I was told I was allergic to it, and so I stopped eating it. So this recipe calls for buttermilk, and so if you too do not drink cow's milk, what I did is I um, mixed some apple cider vinegar with soy milk, and it works just like buttermilk. And so you're going to add or have one and a half cups of buttermilk if you're using buttermilk or one and a half cups of soy milk with one tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar and i'm just going to um, fold it in 
And so I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna add in a little bit of flour, a little bit of the milk, a little bit of flour, a little bit of the milk, until everything is all incorporated. So I just mixed the last of the milk and the flour, and now I'm folding it all in. And I know some of you might be thinking, wait a minute, I thought we were making pumpkin cake. There is no pumpkin in there. Hold tight, once I get this mixed in, I'm going to add in one can, which is a 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. You can also um, make your own if you like. I just bought, I think it's a six pack from Costco. And so that is what I'm going to add into mine once I get all of the dry ingredients mixed in with my wet ingredients. It smells so good. Oops, and I'm making a mess. I think that is mixed in pretty good. Now I'm going to add in my pumpkin. And like I said, this is a 15 ounce can that I bought from um, Costco, but I'm, you know, you can get them at any grocery store. So I just added in my 15 ounces of pumpkin. And you know, I said my can was 15 ounces. It is not, I have a 29 ounce can. Let me double check that. It is a, yeah, 29 ounce can. So I just measured out 15 ounces and I'm gonna fold this in. And like I mentioned in previous videos, um, I think it's very wise to eat foods that are in season. And so because it's fall, of course, pumpkin is in season. And so it's a great time to have pumpkin. Pumpkin is um, high in vitamin C as well as um, beta carotene, which, you know, is great for your eyes. It's also a super, super great source of fiber. If you have dogs, um, dogs love pumpkin and sweet potatoes, by the way. But since we're talking about pumpkin, I will stick with the pumpkin. Um, and then it's great for potassium. So if you're not a fan of bananas, go ahead and grab you a can of pumpkin and incorporate it into your diet. One of the things that I really was excited about when I learned is it is a mood enhancer. And where I live, um, we get lots and lots of dark in the winter time and it's starting to get dark in the fall. And so this is a great way to enhance your mood and it allows you to get um, better sleep. So fun fact about pumpkin. So this is almost all the way mixed in and this is going to make, or this could make three um, nine inch round cake pans. I'm going to just use it for, I think my pan is 11 by 17 um, baking dish and then whatever is left over, I'm going to make it into cupcakes or what I'm gonna call muffins. I'm just not gonna put frosting on them but I may put a little bit of strudel on top. So let me get my countertop cleaned off. I will get my baking pan ready so we can pour this in there and I will be right back. So I have my pan all greased up. This is an 11 by 15 pan, pretty big size pan. Um, so like I said, I'm going to add what I can to this pan and then I'm going to make the rest into, um, cupcakes, which from the looks of it, I won't be making any cupcakes. So yeah, I put it in the pan and I don't, um, I don't, not I don't think, I will not be making cupcakes out of this. I have my oven preheating um, to 275 so that I can slide this on in there. And I'm going to let it cook for 30 minutes and see what's going on at that point. But while this is in there, after I clean up these dishes, I'm going to start the cream cheese frosting. And so I will show you how to do that as well. And again, just a friendly reminder, I will not be using um, dairy cream cheese. I'm gonna be using my vegan cream cheese so that I can eat some of the cake too because I can't have milk. See you in a bit. Okay, so we have the cake, the pumpkin spice cake in the oven. And so now we're gonna get started on the cream cheese frosting. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, um, like I mentioned, I'm making this um, without milk. So it's milk free. This is Tofuti and this is one eight ounce container. 
which I'm going to add all of that to the bowl. I did um, allow it to get room temperature so it can be soft and easy to mix. And then you're going to add in, uh, what is it, a fourth cup of butter. And then I'm gonna add in two cups, oopsie, of powdered sugar. And now I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm just going to whip this up. If need be, I will add in some soy milk. I don't know what I did with my mixer, one sec. So as you can see, I did not need any milk. I think it is a great um, frosting consistency. And so we're going to let the cake continue cooking. I'm going to clean up this kitchen because I've got powdered sugar everywhere. And uh, we'll be back to frosting the cake. Okay guys, I thought it would be cool to show you how to do a pumpkin crisp with the rest of the 29 ounce can of pumpkin puree that we used for the pumpkin cake. So we're gonna start with the crisp first. In this bowl is two cups of flour along with one cup of brown sugar. And I'm going to add to that one fourth teaspoon of baking powder along with one fourth teaspoon of baking soda and one fourth teaspoon of salt. And then I'm gonna add butter to the crisp. Then I'm gonna just mix this all up because this is what's gonna go on top of the pumpkin. Now we love crisp around here so this is enough crisp to make a whole pumpkin crisp even though we're only making small little ramekins worth because i only have um about a cup of pumpkin so i'm just gonna make little desserts it's monday night so i figured why not just make a little pumpkin crisp for monday night and then whenever i make crisp another day we will have the leftover toppings so this is pretty, my bowl is all moved all around. This is pretty mixed up. Um, if you are really into the cinnamon, you know, fall flavors, feel free to add a teaspoon of cinnamon to this. But since I'm making my pumpkin um, crisp and I'm using a pumpkin pie spice with it, I just want the crisp to have its buttery flavor. But like I said, if you wanna add pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon or nutmeg, feel free to do that. So we're gonna set this aside and get started on the actual pumpkin mixture. Okay, now for the pumpkin mixture. So this is, like I said, it's really about a cup, one and one fourth cup to, yeah, it's about one and one fourth cup. So I'm totally winging this, but I know it's gonna taste good. So for this, we have the pumpkin. I'm gonna add in three-fourth cup of sugar. Actually, I'm gonna add in half of this for starters just because the topping is gonna be sweet. So I'm gonna add in about a half cup of sugar along with my milk, and I'm using soy milk for this, so I have six ounces of soy milk. I'm gonna crack my egg into the soy milk, so that's one egg. I can show you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this together. So this is the soy milk and the egg. I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla to this. Like that. So that's pretty, um, that's mixed up good enough. I'm gonna put the vanilla top back on. And then I'm gonna add in a half a teaspoon of the pumpkin pie spice to the pumpkin puree. I did not add the milk yet. 
So I'm gonna get this mixed all around. And I'm gonna taste it just because, like I said, I've never made this before. Kinda winging it. But I'm sure it's gonna be good. Yeah, so the pumpkin mixture is super tasty. Now I'm gonna add in my soy milk with the pumpkin mixture. Actually, I'm just gonna whisk it with my whisk. Okay, oh, let me show you what this looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's kinda runny, but it's gonna set. So Americole wanted it some in this, a mason jar. And so I'm going to put it in my cup so it's easier for me to pour. Okay, do over. So I'm really ready this time. So I have two ramekins, which are seven ounce ramekins, and then two little mason jars. And I'm going to pour the pumpkin puree mixture inside. I hope I didn't overfill the first one. Oh, maybe we're only going to get enough for three. Which is plenty, honestly. So and then I'm going to put these in the oven. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to let these bake for about 30 minutes. Actually, I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to turn the oven up to um, 425 just because it's kind of late and like I mentioned, it's Monday night and I just want to get these done. So I'm going to put these in the oven at 425 for about 30 minutes and then I'm going to take them out and then I will put the crumb on and let them cook for an additional 10 or 15 minutes. I will keep you, um, I'll film again to show you the process. Look at these beauties. So this is the pumpkin mixture. They cooked for about 30 minutes in the oven at 425. Now I'm going to put this yummy crisp on top and put them back in the oven on 350 for about 20 more minutes. If you don't make a mess with your food, then it's probably not that good because I like making a mess with my food and I like eating messy food because I just think it's cute and it tastes so good. And my youngest is like that too. So my oldest is like just a piggy. My youngest likes messy food like me. And then, you know, the middle child, which is a girl, is too sophisticated for it all. So she uses chopsticks, but whatever. So I'm gonna put these back in the oven um, for about 30 minutes. Don't mind the drippings noise in the back that's my oldest son pouring some water no one's paying I promise anyway we are going to put these back in and I will show you the final outcome okay I had to get Mira to help me because I couldn't do it by myself so I wanted to show you what it looks like oh look at that camera footage girl I see you so the shiny part on top is the caramel like I said comment below and also I want to add apparently I need to ask you all who are watching the videos to subscribe so here's the part where you subscribe because you know you want to make this and you know you want to make other recipes like this so please go ahead and click the like button and hit subscribe until next time thanks for watching Okay, so I am going to do a taste test. I haven't done one in a minute because I've had my children, but Americole's so brilliant. She's like, hey, you gotta taste it. So again, this is the pumpkin crisp. It was just a leftover pumpkin puree from the pumpkin cake that we made. Um, I have a feeling my hair might be sticking up. I went to the gym and it pays to go to the gym because then you can kind of eat what you want to eat. So let's dig in. I was stalling because I know it's hot and I don't want to burn my mouth. Let's see. really good mm. the crisp is crunchy um the, I love the oat ice cream I know it's not about the ice cream but 
plug for the oat milk ice cream. For me, it's hands down the best. Um, back to the crisp. It doesn't remind me, I wanna taste just a filling Soho type. But before I say that, it doesn't remind me of a like a pumpkin pie, I thought it would. But it doesn't remind me of an apple crisp either. Um, but it's good, I do like it, let's see. Okay, the filling is kind of pumpkin pie-ish. But it's good. Taste it, try it, make it. You can't taste it unless you make it. So make it. Um, don't forget to like. Please subscribe. I see that there's a lot of people watching, but you're not subscribing. Come on, stay a while. Come be my friend. So go ahead, hit like, hit subscribe, and until next time. Mwah. Pops of the filling. So it ended up making two cups of the pumpkin pie filling and a miracle wanted me to put it in mason jars so i'm just gonna pour some of that inside oh i forgot to prepare it wait i'm gonna have to start over i gotta butter these first one sec um i don't want to be all zoomed in you're not how i don't know what's hot i'll taste okay i don't want to burn my mouth if I'm looking crazy, it's because I went to the gym. And then I decided that I was gonna come home and make, stop Nico, bleep that out. Okay, start over.